Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a weekly tarot reading for my cancers for the week starting April 4th, 2016. And if you'd like to have a private reading from me, you can send me an email at ggleetarot at gmail.com. You can also subscribe to my channel. I would be very appreciative. I would love to welcome my new subscribers and thank you for those who already subscribed. Thank you for your like, your share, your private messages, your comments, your Google+. Plus. It truly means a lot to me. And I also posted below the video where you could find me on social media as well. And now my beautiful cancers, on to your reading. I want you to know that prior to recording your reading, I meditate and ask spirit for guidance and I shuffle the cards as well. So let's see what we have in your past position. We have the devil. Okay, interesting. Saturn is uh, the planet representing uh, the devil. And also Capricorn is the sign representing the devil in a tarot deck. Okay, the devil is a major arcana. So even if it, it's in a past position, it could, the, the energy will be present through the week. Okay, the devil is really, a, it implies, having some type of destructive qualities that are being unleashed those could be unleashed at you or you could be unleashing those okay so whenever we see this energy it's it's better to apply great caution like i said even if it's in a past position it could you know remain present through the week okay so this could be in areas of business or personal relationship, so it's entrapment, okay? So you could have been maybe uh, caught up in some situation and may not have been able to get the result that you were looking for. But this is the first card that we have in this spread. Let's see what we have in uh, the near past position. So we have the Eight of Swords, okay? Coming in again, just beside the devil in a near past position. So the the eight of swords, it really is you being bound by some type of authority. Okay, when you're unable to release yourself from a crisis, a crisis or a situation. So maybe last week there's something like I said that did not go your way, or maybe you entangle you entangle yourself in some type of situation that is not restricting you. Okay, this is a mental energy because it's swords. So it's it could be that there's something that is not uh, going your way, but you're making it a bigger than what it is. It could be, but it's, it's next to the devil. So it could be, you know, it seems to be, again, related to some type of crisis. Okay, but here, remember, with this energy is that you could release yourself from it. This is an ending, so now it's time to maybe, you know, slowly walk out of this situation, release yourself from it, okay? And let's see what we have in the position of the future for you this week, my Cancers. We have the Justice card. Okay, so it could be that, you know, this issue is related to some type of dispute, okay, that you have with other, with someone else, okay, this dispute could be in your personal life, it could be with your family, it could be with your uh, significant other, you know, in a marriage, okay, it could be with school or, you know, some type of institution, but there's something here that's going to come out, and I think maybe you're expecting already the result because cancers are very intuitive, Okay, so as the week progress, you may know that it may not necessarily go your way. And like I said, you know, the justice card, the justice card here is to let you know that you know there will be a division of truth and uh, false. Okay, right or wrong. Okay, yes, it's um, the justice card. I'm not sure if I said the judgment, judgment, but justice, 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 justice. Okay, so the justice card is really related to judgment as well. It's the same thing, but this is really something that is done by an institution or by law or some type of authority, okay, where you will see maybe um, the outcome 
of a dispute okay whether it goes your way or not but it seems to be coming out in this uh, in this uh, in this card okay in this spread and it's also like I said it's a major arcana so the energy is very important especially because it's in the future okay so you'll know if you're right I've been protected okay if the scale will be in your favor this will come out this week and let's see what we have uh, for you, my Cancers, in a position of the outcome. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Okay? So things are, may be going well in some other areas of your life. So if you're dealing with some type of, you know, restraint in your personal life, your, uh, you know, professional life, business life may go really well okay this may be an energy restricted in some areas of your life okay it's which is good to know it's good to know that you're able to go forward in other areas of life so the nine of pentacles are very auspicious card okay it really about financial success okay based on outward accomplishment okay so like I said things are going well in terms of establishing yourself or in your work or in your business you have the right energy you're still you know in a comfortable position you're still able to um, you know to bring gains material gains and also enjoy yourself okay because the the nine of Pentacles it really is about enjoying one accomplishment and using some material gains to better ourselves, whether it's physical, whether it's just, uh, you know, to please ourselves. Uh, but it's something that is very enjoyable. So keep that in mind, my cancers, that through it all this week, you know, even if in some areas of life you may not uh, be able to. I'll say you may or may not be able to see things, uh, you know, going in your favor or you may not be able to freely, um, you know, release yourself of some type of authority in other areas, especially if I feel in terms of your finances, things are going well. Okay, so you should focus on that here. The outcome is a, is a good card. Sometimes also, like I said, those energies are really mental energies when, you know, we're not. It could be also things that are happening to other people, but it has an effect on you because there's an energy right now going on, okay, and that is kind of a little bit draining. And also in April, there will be a few planets going retrograde. Okay, so I will end this reading here for you, my Cancers. I trust you enjoy it. Let me know how it resonated with you. Leave me comments until, until next week. Send you lots of kisses. I love you.